What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel and as I mentioned in my previous video ito, hindi ito, medyo unexpected ko ang ginawa to to those of you who still don't have a gaming PC or console for that matter then this video is probably for you and for the majority of the population who game mainly on their smartphones and also this is like an episode 2 to one of my unexpectedly successful videos which is the mobile gaming setup which I made 3 years ago Coincidentally, the reason why I'm making another video like this is for the very same reason why I made my original video of this, the market. Scalpers, miners, yeah. For the gamers out there to be able to satisfy their crave for gaming hopefully with their smartphones and also to pass the time and not buy from scalpers or pretty much anywhere where they sell graphics cards or even PS5s at absurd prices, so yeah. Compared to 3 years ago, there's a lot more games and also emulators that you can use to satisfy that crave for gaming and maybe even some feelings of nostalgia or maybe just cry. Sedge. And also, smartphones have come a long way for the past couple of years. Game pads, audio accessories, and even power banks have become super affordable. But in this case, I'm not going to be featuring a power bank to recommend since a lot of the people these days are just at home. I'm assuming. So as for your hardware, let's start off with the accessories which are honestly optional. But just having a gamepad and a good pair of earbuds or headphones makes the gaming experience all that more enjoyable. So for the gamepad, I am specifically recommending the Thunder Robot G50 which is just an insane value right now for $1399. You can watch my review of this to know more about it but basically, it's an all-in-one gamepad for any platform mapa Nintendo Switch pa yan. It has Bluetooth, you can also use it wired, it comes with a detachable and foldable smartphone holder, additional macro buttons at the back, and a solid 8-hour battery life with a built-in battery. Plus, it lights up. Very nice. For the earbuds or headphones, it depends on you but I personally recommend the Plexstone RX3. It's an updated and better version of the Plexstone G20s which is the one that I'm using. Great sound quality, great mic quality but the RX3 has a dedicated detachable microphone. And for only 535, you're also getting a Type-C adapter. You know, if your smartphone doesn't already have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Yeah. So for the accessories, if you don't already have them, then you're just spending a little under 2,000 pesos for them. One more thing about these accessories, uh, specifically the gamepad, if you're mainly playing games like Wild Rift or Mobile Legends, then you don't necessarily need this, of course. And of course, the smartphone that you're gonna be using, so you don't necessarily need a super powerful phone for this, uh, even something like my Poco M3 with a Snapdragon 662 or Redmi Note 9 with a MediaTek Helio G85 is more than enough for most of the emulators that you want to run on Android. And it can run pretty much any game in the Play Store except for something like Genshin Impact. It can run it, yeah, but it's not an enjoyable experience. So I guess the only exception for games, at least for the phones that perform similarly to the 662 and G85 are Genshin Impact, Citra which is a Nintendo 3DS emulator, and Daemon PS2 Pro which is a PS2 emulator. Duh. Yes, you can run PS2 games on your Android device now. Although if you do want to, then get the Pro version. As the free version is basically unusable with the ads and shits that it comes with. Also, if you do want to play the more demanding games and emulators, like I mentioned, then you need to have at least a smartphone with a Snapdragon 720G or MediaTek Helio G90. So yeah. So as for the games in the Play Store, you can run a lot of games smoothly on the Poco M3 or Redmi Note 9. Plus, there are a lot of games that has gamepad support already like Asphalt 9 or Unkilled. But for something like PUBG or any other game that doesn't have a gamepad support and you think you can benefit with using a gamepad, then that's where the beauty of having the Thunder Robot G50 comes in. Basically, it has a software that you can use to manually assign the on-screen controls to the gamepad but I won't be showing you that here so you can just watch my video on this to set it up but yeah even for the games that don't support a gamepad then the G50 is basically an unfair advantage for mobile gamers. Of course, again, for something like Wild Rift or Mobile Legends, then you don't necessarily need a gamepad and just have a smooth gaming experience even at high settings at 60 FPS. Very nice. For emulators, the main emulator that I still use on my Android device is PPSSPP, which is a PSP emulator, the basically you can just install it from the Play Store. Run it, copy the games that you <coughs> legally downloaded online to the games folder in your phone, 
and just play. It's that simple. That's why I love using this app and you don't need to mess with the graphic settings. As for the controls, it automatically assigns the designated functions to your gamepad. And yeah, you have a lot of games to choose from obviously, especially if you still have your old library of PSP games in your PC. It's just a smooth experience, plus the graphics are actually better and sharper compared to the original PSP graphics. Of course, you have other emulators to choose from like FPC, which is a PS1 emulator but you need to spend 160 pesos on this and technically you can run Citra on these devices but don't expect it to run smoothly again at least a 720g or g90 for the more demanding games and emulators but yeah hopefully this can satisfy your crave for gaming um, while you wait for graphics cards or even ps5 prices to settle down maybe we can see an improvement by next year I'm not sure but yeah, don't buy from scalpers, ma kuya. So yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Uh, I'll leave the product links to the products I mentioned in the description and pinned comments of this video. As always, stay safe, ma kuya. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.